Already some excitement for the big boats who are on the starting line. J105s are off the line next, and this time the pin end looks strong. And Monkey Dust goes back for the night. Monkey Night Series, and as they cross to take the gun, it's Mirage. Hi, I'm Tucker Thompson from T2P TV. Welcome back to night number two of our coverage of the Annapolis Yacht Club Wednesday night race series. And what a contrast we've got tonight compared to last week's first race of the season. As most of you know, it was blowing over 20 knots in big waves. Well, 20 minutes ago, there, the breeze was glass out here. Bobby Fye and the race committee made the right call and postponed. And now we've got a bit of breeze. The question now is, will it hold? A0 is off on port. It's a big left-hand shift. And perf one is off. The breeze has shifted back right a little bit. It's more reminiscent of a normal Wednesday night, but still in the left-hand phase, has everybody on board. We've moved to the pin, and the committee boat has moved back a little bit for the start of the J105s to square up for that little right-hand shift, and they're off. Somebody's over. Scott Gitchell's tenacious who paid the price for being over early. They had a third last week. Let's see how they can do falling back. Here's Elvis, perf two. They won last week, three seconds. Looks like they're gonna be a little late this week. Perf two is off. Good start for the J-70s, windward end. Ucentar has to tack out to the right. On to the Etchels. Here's 1097. That breeze has ticked right a little bit more, enough to give our series leader a good start here in the Etchels. That's Jose Fuentes. A little bit behind, actually, but all clear. Have a look at playmaker Alan Kelly, 1260. The only boat that tried to port tack the fleet, and it almost stuck. Well, I don't know if that J80 dancer is racing, but if they are, they're missing something. The J30s have their own one design start this year. Three of them are heading right while the other six hug the left-hand shore. Finally time for the left-hand boats to check in with the rest of the fleet. It's a short course tonight, meaning Stray Dog out in the front of A0 is going to be in plenty early. And the typical Ramrod night shift battle is being won by Ramrod.
It's out and back, and the breeze is picking up for the run home. Here is the lead, 105 Mirage. Impressive performance. There's Tenacious, and then, well, the rest of the fleet, about 200, 300 yards behind. Make that Mirage, by the way. Here's Tenacious, remember, over early, back to fourth. That's a good job. And there, way over there, I might add, is Pete Machesi. You know, he, he does so well every week, we got to point this one out. He's in double digits tonight. Top mark for the Eccles. It's close, but it is Jose Fuentes Caramba out in front, followed by Christopher Brady's whirlwind. Ford approach, and we could see some trade and paint here. Whoa, look at that! A double collision at the top mark. Definitely some red flags will be flying. creative name, the White Boat. We're with the J30s. It's Dave Moss and he is in the lead at the top mark. Hear him talking about easing that main and getting that kite up. Here comes the set. Behind them, a little bit of trouble for Valhalla. They're leading the division second tonight. Seems like people weren't quite prepared for this breeze to pipe up, but it is coming in strong. Insatiable with a nice set there in third and could pass Valhalla, who's having trouble getting the kite up. Diesel, we're at the Leward mark. The last left hand turn in the race. We head into the harbor. Here's Ashley Love, our own editor in chief at T2P TV. She's keeping the strings organized in the pit on QA2 tonight. Into the harbor with gratitude, the final turning mark. It's pole on the head stay, and it looks like we're going to have a spinnaker finish. Hey, hey, look at that kite drop right next to the Eastport Bridge. Hey, look, we've been doing this for 12 years. I've always wondered if someone would slam into it. They came close. And here comes the rest of the fleet. Christopher Brady's whirlwind was on Jose Fuentes' heels at the top mark. Well, here at the finish, they take the gun.
Well, I never would have guessed, based on the way the breeze looked this afternoon, that we would have had a race tonight. And hey, I never would have guessed last week would have been one of the roughest Wednesday nights we've ever seen. So I've been wrong two weeks in a row. Hey, it happens. Anyway, at least the race committee got it right tonight. They postponed, they held off, and the breeze clicked in right on cue. We hope you enjoyed watching the show at the Boatyard Bar and Grill in the Annapolis Yacht Club. I'm Tucker Thompson for T2P TV. We'll see you next week. Set up your appointment, give us a call. We look forward to meeting you and your family. Live, Live well. The Eastport Yacht Center on Back Creek, where the Severn meets the bay, is the perfect location for all your marine needs. It's a complete full-service marina with new floating docks and bathhouse. For more information, visit www.eastportyachtcenter.com. You're watching T2P TV.